guys, welcome to today's video. You may be thinking like, Laura, where did you get that huge coat? Found it in the basement. <laughs> it's Sam's, he bought it a couple years ago and never wore it at this big, huge store event thing that we went to. Let me tell you, I'm dying of heat. I am someone who's always cold. But today is so cold outside that I dug this out of the basement for Sam to wear and he said he wasn't gonna wear it. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'm gonna wear it. I don't care how dumb I look. I don't care how big the sleeves are. I just care that it's so thick. It's warm, it should be warm. So warm, you guys. Yeah. Oh, okay, drive. Let's open the windows. Oh, it, what's the temperature? Minus 18. That's Minus time. 18 in the daytime. And here comes, honk the horn, honk the horn, honk the horn. <laughs> It's, it's funny every time, Sophie. Okay, that was mean. Don't do that. Sophie's hungry, I think. Normally she would laugh. She's not laughing today, so that was a mistake. We got Gabby here. Gabby, was it funny? Yeah. <laughs> would you laugh if we have if we did it to you? I would jump or just look at you like what? With the evil eye. Gabby is we learned this evil eye. From, from the haunted houses. Yeah. I would flinch. I would go. Yeah. Gabby's a flincher. She's and not a screamer. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, you know, parents of the year right there. <laughs> Girl or guy even grabbed my ankle and I didn't scream. Yeah. Talent. Gabby is a brave girl. Gabby doesn't react. Gabby is not reactive. She's like calm no, first. Like really slow reflex. She's a really slow reflex, she says. Uh, we're sorry, Sophie. Do you forgive us? Okay, so before I tell you guys something, I want to say that I think it, there's a huge injustice in the world how we make big, huge, thick men's coats to keep men warm outside because there's a preconceived idea that only men work hard in the winter outside. Women stay inside where they keep hands. their skin beautiful from the lack of the sun and the ice breaking our freezing our face and making us have wrinkles. It's not true. Do better. We need we need to do better. We need warm coats for women, you guys, especially horse women. Anyway, we just went to the grocery store because there's a bank machine there. And Sophie convinced me to buy cookies. So I decided that today's gonna be something special and something different. This little tiny package of cookies was so expensive compared to like a regular. $4. Yeah, it was $5 for this tiny pack. $4.99 for this tiny bag. bag. It has 200 grams. So that tells me that it is either gonna be the best cookie we ever ate or we got ripped off. What do you guys think? Gabby, you think it's gonna be the best cookie you ever ate? Yeah. You think it's gonna be the best cookie we ever ate or you think we got ripped off? What is? These, this little bag of cookies cost $5. Best cookie be you've best. ever eaten. Sam and I think it's gonna be the best cookie we ever tried and Gabby thinks we got ripped off. So this is what it looks like. Definitely looks better than the other kind. And there are eight cookies in the bag, you guys. Totally a ripoff. They just taste like regular cookies. There's nothing special about these cookies. We paid $5 for eight cookies. I didn't bite into whatever. It's not even good. It's not, I mean, it's not, okay. it's just a regular old cookie. Wait, Gabby, I bought another kind you might like better. So I also bought these double chocolate. They look like shortbread with chocolate. Same price, 210, no, 213 grams. There are a little bit more cookies in this one, but they're tiny. This is what they look like. Let's see if this is worth it. I think these ones have been on TikTok. Are they good? They have not been on TikTok. Yeah, they're good. I like them. They're okay. They're like the other ones. They're just okay. I don't know. Stick with cheap cookies, you guys. We just did that little experiment for you. Cheap cookies are better. We're racing to the barn. We have to do more grain bags because that is what you're, that, because that is what our life consists of, making sure the horses have the food that they need. But um, we missed our lesson on Monday, and so Brandon sent me a message this morning, and it said, "Can you guys ride at 4:30?" And I said, "Yeah, of course we can." And then the other, so then I messaged the other people in our group lesson and said, "Brandon said 4:30." And they said, oh, okay, that's perfect. So we're all racing to the barn. We're about to get there. And I messaged Brandon and said, like, what horses do you want us to ride? He always has, like, his own plan or whatever. And he said, oh, well, you guys aren't riding today, are you? And I said, what do you mean? <laughs> like, you sent me a message this morning saying, can you ride at 4.30? And he's like, oh, work has been busy. I meant to add tomorrow <laughs> to that. 
but I forgot. So <laughs> there's a mix-up. There's a big mix-up. I do not know what's gonna happen. I do not know what's ha I do not know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, you can ride Finney's. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out and we will do something with our horses because we miss them. Like, we've only ridden, we haven't ridden as much this week as we have been riding because it's just been so cold. So, we'll figure it out and I'll show you guys what we decide. All right, so Sophie, hot you know. Only his blanket covered him. His neck was not on him. His neck was not on? He got it off. He does not like a neck. It's and cold. It wasn't in the field. It's not in the field? It's not in the field. Okay, well that is interesting. Finn, <laughs> you buried it? He buried it. He's like, I hate he, this thing! He definitely did bury it. <laughs> his mouth is hurt. His mouth is his all, mouth dirty. Is all dirty. So Chino kept his neck on, but look, it's wrecked. <gasps> this is my favorite neck. What the heck? Were you guys, I bet you Chino took Finn's off for him, and I bet you Finn took Chino's off for him. Alright, so he wants to show us another thing. His yeah, I like the snow for that. Hello, handsome. Seems like I used to live with no blanket on. I'm good. And there's Cutie Pie Thumper. Yeah, you're, this cat is seriously such a sweet cat. So. I'll take turns coaching. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea, Sophie. That's what we're gonna do. We called it. We call it. We, call, we got our video. We planned our video. You guys wanna be in a video? We're each gonna take take turns being the coach. Yeah. Okay? Hi, Storm. Yeah, well, the bossier the better for this video. Right, so we got Lily here. Ooh, we got Finn, who's coming right to me. Oh yeah, so her stirrups were down really low last time. Right, they are all coming. I came over here so I could be alone, and they all followed me. They all caught, they all came. The dads are all freezing over there, just sitting there doing nothing, freezing. <laughs> and they were just playing Simon Says, and one of the dads says, how fast can you untuck your horse and get in the car? <laughs> he's trying to kill me, because he's been trying to kill me this whole ride. All right, so Gabby is, yeah, we gotta, we gotta wrap it up, girls. We're supposed to be doing a calm, flat lesson. That's what Brandon told us to do. That's all we've been doing. Trotting on the right ring. No, we're starting to push these Yeah. Yeah, don't ride like, don't be a coach like these girls are being a coach. Be kind. No. I don't know. I feel like we've all been kind of aggressive. Sophia, your rising. No. That is wrong. Calm your body. <laughs> Gabby's like, don't everybody pay attention to me. Gabby does not want to be a coach. Chino gave the other mom her first riding lesson. Didn't you, Chino? He's such a good boy. Yeah, come here, look, look. Wow. Riding in unison, okay, that's the next video. So riding in unison and... <laughs> I love the giggles. That's what riding is all about for me. Even though this might seem like nothing exciting for you guys, it's important for my kids to remember the joy and the love they have for horses and riding for fun. Not just like competition and, and stuff. So that's why days like this are so important to us. Here's a carrot for Mr. Mr. Stormy Knight. He's like, thank you. I won't buck you off ever again because you gave me a carrot. <laughs> That's for you. He watched everybody else get a carrot. And he's like, what about me? He's like, I refuse to wear a neck, but what about me? Are we gonna feed them their grain or what? Yeah, feed them their grain. Gabby, you're gonna have to feed them their grain. All right, goodbye. Sophie's gone in the washroom, so Gabby's gonna take them both out. They're friends. Okay, go off. I'll give them out to you out there. Outside. Oh, All right, bye, Chino. Bye, happy guy. Goodbye, guys. We love you.
And just like that, it is dark, you guys. It's almost 6 p.m. The horses are back out. We fed them. They're all ready for their long night. Don't you know that you're beautiful?